Linux is not the most popular OS available, but it is the operating system many consumers, business people, and developers love and use. It certainly does not have the backing of other big systems have, but nevertheless, it is very capable and even free. Acer Aspire E15 is for users constrained by budget. It is targeted specifically at students and enterprise users. Don't be fooled by its lower price, E15 features a great variety of ports, the latest processor and a keyboard that's super comfortable. Aspire E15 that may look a little bulkier but it's lighter than it looks. It's better than fine, it plays games, does multitasking, connects everything with various ports and also features an optical drive. Internals of the Acer Aspire E15 is great with a lot of upgradability options. It comes in various variants you can choose from. This internals can fairly run Linux and have the capacity to do multiple tasks simultaneously. Acer Aspire E15 is very comfortable to type on, although its key travel is 1.1mm less compared to recommended 1.5mm. The good news is, it comes with a numpad which means a full-sized keyboard, even with the numpad keys are full-sized and well-placed. The touchpad of Aspire E15 is huge and very responsive. You can easily perform gestures like scrolling and swiping. The battery life is around 8 hours which means it will last for a day. Also, it has all the necessary parts you need. Asus Vivo Book S15 design isn't the only premium, in fact, it offers the new Ergo lift hinge which angles the keyboard up to 3.5 degrees for a more comfortable typing experience. With its tapered chassis, aluminum cover and thin bezels, it looks beautiful and will be great for design conscious people. It may look luxurious but when you look at the price of the Asus Vivo Book S15, it's a budget laptop. This one is very unique from Asus, Vivo Book S15 also comes in various colors including turquoise green and blinding yellow. This laptop for Linux is equipped with Intel Core i5-8250U1.6GHC processor and 8GB DDR4 RAM that makes it fast enough to open multiple tabs and also play music or videos simultaneously. For storage needs, it features a speedy 256GB SSD and for graphical needs, Intel HD Graphics 620 is placed in. The display of the Asus Vivo Book S15 is also FHD with a wide-angle view. You can call it the best laptop for Linux 2020 because it's fast, the design is good and has an enormous keyboard for comfortable typing. Asus Vivo Book S15 has a battery life of around 8 hours of continuous surfing using Wi-Fi. This may not be the best but can get through your workday. Asus Vivo Book S15 has a great cooling management system as well. Slim, lightweight, durable and attractive, the ThinkPad X1 carbon sleek chassis checks all the right boxes. Practically unchanged, and therefore just as stunning as last year's model, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon has a minimalist aesthetic created by clean surfaces, smooth lines and stylish branding. Of course, you still get all of the iconic design elements expected from a ThinkPad, but in a modern, ultra-portable chassis made from carbon fiber and magnesium. Yes, Lenovo could trim down the display bezels or add some fancy chrome, but it's 2019, and the ThinkPad X1's largely unchanged chassis is still a marvel. Interestingly, Lenovo moved the X1 Carbon's power button to the right side for people who use the laptop docked with the lid closed. The button is less accessible in this new location, although I understand why the change was made. The XPS 13th of May no longer be the undisputed champion of the Ultrabook market, but it's still one of the best Ultrabooks out there. And, one can only admire Dell for its unwavering Linux support on a flagship machine, making the Dell XPS 13 7390 one of the best Linux laptops on offer. The laptop has a number of customizations you can opt for, but as with all Dell products these days the number of configurable options is quite limited. There are also two main hard drive options, both solid state, offering a capacity of either 256GB or 512GB of storage. There are also two screen option, the more expensive is the 4K Infinity Edge touchscreen. Though it's worth bearing in mind that the higher res screen will tax the GPU and CPU more, and may affect battery life adversely. The more wallet-friendly configuration runs with a full HD 13.3-inch Infinity Edge non-touch display. Looks can be really deceiving. Same as the case with the HP Elite Dragonfly, it looks amazingly so premium yet it's so much durable. It has the ability to handle a lot of a beating, high temperatures, and dust. Also, 
This stunning sleek and lightweight laptop packs a lot of power inside and can handle almost anything. This is a perfect opportunity for the Linux operating system and is regarded as one of the best laptops for Linux. Let's have a look inside. HP Elite Dragonfly Notebook PC features the latest Intel Core i7-8665U, a good integrated Intel UHD Graphics 620, a 16GB memory and a 512GB SSD. We believe these specs and stunning looks are enough to make you feel at peace. Furthermore, HP Elite Dragonfly has extremely comfortable lap and hard surfaces use experience. If you are looking for a business laptop that is good at almost everything, this is the one that you should look for.